current topside temperature is 79 degrees with an estimated high of 90. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. A training facility. Please stand back from the automated door. If you're here to see someone at the Habitor payroll office, better just have a seat. They're not open for another half an hour. Why they'd shove it so far away from the main entrance is beyond me. I didn't even know there was a second station for this place. Tom. Tom. What? Customer. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. I, uh, it, it's a good read. Uh, you're Dr. Freeman, right? We were told to expect you. Spend too much time reading those magazines. They're doing a series on the Hazardous Environment Combat Unit. Those guys do some seriously good work. <laughs> sure. Let the seat you take them on. He's here. Ah, Dr. Freeman. We've been waiting for you. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure you hit some traffic in the middle of the desert. At any rate, welcome to the Black Mesa Training Facility. Things have been in a state of commotion lately, but we're glad you're here. Just let me double check your file. Ah, I see you've already signed our legal disclaimer. I, Gordon Freeman, hereby agree to the following terms. Blah, has any case of serious injury, dismemberment, toxic poisoning, burns, rashes, lesions, blah, blah, etc., etc., hereby agree to waive all rights as an employee of the Black Base Research Facility. Ah, yes, it looks very good. Now, if I recall, you're here for standard HEV training. Oh, oh wait a minute. Seems someone has made an error and signed you up for the Enhanced Security Trainings Firearms 101 as well. Well... If this is on file, it means the required personnel are already setting up. No sense letting it go to waste. So follow me, and we'll get you prepped. Security training program. Finally, Simowitz, he's here. Oh dear, why aren't these sensors working? I hope they're not needed for today's training run. Ah, the salutations, Gordon. I thought I should drop in to welcome you, as well as ensure everything goes smoothly. They assure me that all the training facility software is in working order. Best of luck. Welcome to the Hazard Force, Dr. Freeman. I trust you've read this pamphlet, so we'll just skip ahead to the information in the middle. We'll be monitoring your vital signs remotely via the HEV suit you'll be using. But do pay attention to your adrenaline flow, fatigue, any lightheadedness, extreme pressure, arrhythmia, or potential fractures. You know, the usual. Most of the course is self-explanatory. Often literally. But we'll be around to give you any tips you might need. As well as grade you on your performance. So do try to give us a good show and enjoy yourself in there. The entrance is the elevator shaft on the left of the room. Come with me. Didn't have too big of a breakfast, did you? I'm 
Good luck. Be safe. I know the pipes say wastewater, but you needn't worry. It's not that type of wastewater. Actually, it is. Oh, well, uh, don't worry. I'm sure it's been filtered at least a bit. You'll be sprayed with disinfectant before you leave, of course, anyway. For all our benefit. So, I see you did your PhDs at MIT. Very impressive. Oh, just the one. Uh, good job. At any rate. we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will try to run and jump over this set of pipes. Watch me, then try it yourself. Good work. Those suits can be tricky for new users. Move on to the next area. You will need to duck and stay low to clear the next set of pipes. Moving while crouched will also minimize movement noise, making you harder to hear. Good work, Gordon. You're quiet as a church mouse. We will now combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Good work. Ready for the next room, I'd say. Sometimes, you'll need to get extra height in order to get over an obstacle or into a tight space. Try jumping forward and pulling your legs up mid-air to clear the obstacle. It's tricky at first, but you'll... Didn't hit your head, I hope. Climbing ladders in your suit may be a bit tricky. Take some time to practice it here. I can't believe they still think we need to teach people how to use ladders. The 
the next three jumps are more difficult to make. It helps to get a running start and put your legs midair. Great work! Now, there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own module seen here. When wearing the module, you will be able to activate it to give your jumps extra horizontal movement. When you're at the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. This is a prototype of the module, by the way. Let us know if you experience any problems. Please enter and start the lift. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to land on it. Don't be afraid, Dr. Freeman. The suit will protect you from any major injuries. Very good, Freeman. Next time, however, you might want to try to follow directions. Let me just get the door. I hear the engineers are working on a landing system for the long jump module. Not that you're likely to ever use the final version, but it's apparently designed to prevent situations like this. If you're quite done recovering, head into the next room so that you can get some actual medical assistance. You will find medical stations and first aid kits like this throughout the facility. Please use them to treat any injuries you have sustained. Once a medical device is depleted, it will shut down and cannot be reused. To spin that bridge, turn the control wheel. Please note that some valves or wheels may turn back to their original position if they are not fully turned. Dr. Freeman, we do have a timetable here. I imagine if the ladder did not stretch your intellect, this should be no challenge. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than your suit to navigate a tight space or get past obstacles. Try crossing this gap on your own.
If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling or lifting it. Move these crates to clear your path and get onto the platform. alternate means of removing the obstacle. Pick up the crowbar on the table and pry open the large crates in your path. Well, uh, I suppose that works too. suit's flashlight on for this next area and use it to navigate the path. If you fall, locate the ladder and Don't try again. Don't taking shortcuts like that around here. Great! Remember, your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you're not using it. Don't worry, we'll get you a fresh set of rechargeables when we issue your suit. Auxiliary power should be a problem any time in the next decade. Ah, I almost forgot the weapons training snap. Accidental or not, Firearms 101 has already been paid for, Dr. Freeman. Consider it supplementary training. Welcome to the Black Mesa. <clears throat> uh, one moment. Control? Control? Can someone please explain to me why this guy looks like an orange tank? As planned. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, one HEV scientist coming in. Hello, training. Uh, oh, uh, doctor? You're about to be dispensed a standard issue 9mm pistol and ammunition. So, yeah, you caught me a bit off guard. Uh, I can see that you aren't exactly supposed to be here today, but, uh, you know, whatever. Hey, you're scheduled for it. They're paying for it, so let's make the most of it. All right, I'll teach you how to use some of my cool toys. There are three rules on my range. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot, and always keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and load it now, though, because we're about to begin. Hold your weapon in a two-handed grip, both thumbs forward, feet shoulder width apart. Put seven rounds in the center ring of each target. Hey, I'm it off for the first time you do it. Now, I like your stance with your feet, and that was a pretty slick relay. But your handling of the weapon could be a bit better. Don't jerk the trigger, alright? Give it a slow, steady squeeze. Okay, let's move on to an automatic weapon system. Head into the armory behind you. This is your standard 9mm submachine gun setup with an attached impact grenade launcher. Grab ammo and grenades, load up, and they'll open the next room for you. For this course of fire, you'll have to hit every target in order to proceed. If you miss the first time, don't worry, they'll come around again. Some targets are behind cover, use grenades to hit those ones. Go to the marker on the floor when you are ready. Initiating in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go!
equipment. You'll run the rest of the course with that equipment. You know, we, we try to train our guys with all the weight of their gear, but, well, I guess that doesn't make much of a difference to you. But, regardless, just be careful with it. Remember, finger off the trigger. But hey, man, look, don't stress too much about any of it, all right? I don't think you're ever going to reach a point in your life where you need to use a submachine gun with a grenade launcher attached to it, right? But, but you know, whatever. I hope you had fun. Take care. Ah, welcome back. Did you learn something about security duty? unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, you can step up to any charger to charge your suit gradually until the charger is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. 50%. Power 65%. Power 80%. The following series of rooms simulate lab disasters and other hazardous conditions your suit is designed to protect you from. Do not worry. If you charged your suit in the previous room, you will be in no danger. And if you didn't, we have a medical team. Uh, yes, that's correct. Your medical team on standby for the hazard course ASAP. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon light up. Directional indicators in the center of the display show you where damage is coming from.
The buttons on the fire doors act as a toggle unless the heat sensor is triggered. Just hit the button to get out. I bet you want a chance to cool down. Exposure to extreme cold will sap your suit's power supply. Make your way through the next chamber quickly. electric shocks as well. That doesn't mean you should go for a dip, though. And don't try to turn off the power, the room isn't designed for that. Your suit's Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also displayed with a luminous icon. Don't, Don't worry, worry, that, that suit, suit is properly shielded in all the right places. And this, this is a very is low, low dose, dose for demonstration purposes only. The marker chemicals are probably just as radioactive as what we've allowed through. Even so, don't worry if your vision is blurred a little bit. Yes, that's perfectly normal. demonstrated, the HEV suit is more than capable of keeping you safe from any and all forms of damage. Please use the elevator to your right. facility you do not have personal clearance to enter. Explain the situation to a guard and they will let you through. Ask the security guard to let you through and lead him to the retinal scanner. He will let you into the final section of the course. Hello sir. Take me to the scanner and I'll open it. Coming. Yeah, okay. Now, if you could just uh, hand over your weapons. All right, thanks. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV Hazardous Environment Suit. This lever-controlled train will transport you to a location where your training associates are waiting for you. Have a very safe and productive day.
cheese. Congratulations, Doctor. Yes, you actually made it. In the ninth percentile of time used to complete it. The hazard course certainly shows us the uh, diversity among our staff. Yes, well, uh, and these numbers come from the personal questions of astronauts. A lot of the entries come from practice. <laughs> Lots of hours. Yes, yes, no need to feel inadequate on your first run. I'm sure nobody else in the HEB training had to waste time shooting targets either. Well. At any rate, let's get the good doctor out of that training suit and onto the tour. I believe there's someone waiting for him. Right this way, Dr. Freeman. We have a car waiting. 